Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. This is my review of Wonder Woman Dead Earth Book 4. Uh, before I start, I'm very excited to say that we just began production on Iron Sights 3. The official title is Iron Sights One Good Dog. And uh, of course that subtitle will make more sense when you read it. But, um, you know, <laughs> Ibai's been on a lot of projects. Uh, so I've been just waiting for him to be uh, free again. He's like, hey, this Friday I'm going to be able to start. He goes, go ahead and send me the script. I go, <laughs> what? <laughs> script? What are you talking about? I have an idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, he's. Uh, so I just wrote the first five pages and the last five pages. Because, uh, I mean, I know this story. I know the basic story, but I've never formally typed it out uh, before. So I'm very, very excited to uh, uh, start on that. Iron Sights is basically, you know, one of the pillars of of uh, one of the main pillars of, I, well, I guess technically all pillars carry, you know what I'm talking about. I started with Jawbreakers franchise and then I do Iron Sights and I go back and forth. And, you know, I do other things, but it always comes back to Jawbreakers and Iron Sights. Um, so very excited about that. Speaking of Indiegogos, Spendables Go to Hell, Jawbreakers Grand Bazaar, Iron Sights Two Psychos. So uh, when I'm reading something, I'm forming a thesis and I'm changing it and then I'll get, you know, evidence that I was wrong. So I'll, I'll make a new one. And um, <laughs> this one, like every page, I had a new thesis. Now, there are some things that I have mentioned, like, um, and many people in the comments have said it, that basically Daniel Warren Johnson is not good at drawing conventionally beautiful women. Um, I, this phrase in my head kept uh, coming up. Uh, people on the bus. You know, one of the classic things when you're, uh, you know, going to art school is you'll have your little moleskin notebook, you know, and your, your trapper keeper, whatever. <laughs> your little tote bag, your backpack, and then when you're on the bus, because you're a broke art school student, you'll take it out and you draw people. And this is a classic thing for, you know, artists to do. Um, but it's, <laughs> it's people on the bus. It's broke people. <laughs> It's broke people and, for the most part, sad people. So anytime, you know, you talk, oh, I'm in art school. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I see your notebook? Okay, this is just a bunch of people on park benches and the bus. Um, so everyone in his books looks like people from the bus. Uh, there's, I've had issues with how unattractive Wonder Woman is uh, and how dark the story got, but it really came home quite nicely. Um, one of the things that's just so shocking about this is it's those things you're not supposed to do. I mean, it's doing some of the things you're supposed to do. You're supposed to draw women as, you know, for the most part, unattractive, you know, because of the male gaze, G-A-Z-E. Um, but you're also supposed to do this thing where women are all friends and kind of know each other. And this is not about this. Oh, and they're almost always right. This is about a woman making a huge mistake uh, based off of rage um, and not acting heroically and then her having to make up for it. This is almost unheard of uh, for at least, you know, uh, how comics have gone and a lot of movies and TVs have gone over uh, the last few years is men have redemption stories. They've done something and they have to make up for it. Whereas women, the stories are, they're not even stories. The woman is great and people just need to realize it. So it's not growth for the female character, especially hero. It's growth for the audience. I bet you didn't notice how amazeballs Squirrel Girl was. Squirrel Girl doesn't grow. You know, Kamala Khan doesn't grow. <laughs> Captain Marvel doesn't grow. It's just all about people realizing you're amazing. You're so amazing that your space cat tore my cornea and made me blind in one eye and I'm not even angry. In fact, I'm barely even bothered. I mean, it's really my fault. Um, so you don't get this. You got a, a woman who um, lost it and basically led to an apocalypse and she's being reformed in this kind of post-apocalyptic medieval uh, society and she's got to make up for it and save the day as best she can and it's kind of awesome <laughs> it, you know I was one of the things I like about this is there's a lot of themes and discussions and questions and you know 
I was saying, I'm not sure if Daniel Warren Johnson knows what he's saying. It's definitely not a, oh, a global warming. It's not, you know, political, you know, so to speak. It's also not propaganda. It's also kind of, you know, not fully formed in that he's, you know, he's bringing up ideas and concepts. But I never kind of knew where it was going. Um, one of the things I was talking about is Brian, is it Woods or Wood? Um, is that I used to read his stuff a lot and then I stopped because he had so many tells. You just knew where everything was going, mainly based on the progressive stack and how high up on it the lead character was. But this one, I didn't know. There's a lot of uh, ugliness, but there's also a lot of uh, uh, heart. Now, please look at the screen right now. Oh my gosh, what is this? I think in his head, he thought that the uh, colorist was going to make this whole, you know, under the nose clavicle area in a deep, deep shadow, <laughs> but colorist did not. So it just looks like she has no, she, she looks like a monster and she actually looks like a monster a lot. That to me is very, um, I mean, this is probably like the best she looks. There's some cool hero moments in this that are kind of stepped on by, you know, his kind of ugly style of drawing uh, people. Uh, or, you know, as I say, people on the bus, Wonder Woman on the bus on the, in the future post-apocalypse. But um, the story is very, very heartfelt, as is everything Daniel Warren Johnson uh, makes. He's a very sincere artist, and I really appreciate that. And I liked it. I liked it just fine. I'm actually looking forward to maybe another story in this world. Uh, so uh, that's it. <laughs> it's a recommend. Um, uh, before you go, Spendables Go to Hell, Jawbreakers Grand Bazaar, Iron Sights Two Cycles, Cycles, Two <laughs> Iron Sights Two Psychos Graphic Novel Second Printing. Um, uh, thanks for watching, and I will have uh, new comic book reviews up all this weekend. Thanks, bye. All this week, because it's Sunday. Thanks, bye.